So first um, lab technique I'm gonna go over is extraction. So extraction is um, used when you wanna separate out a desired product from a, um, a mixture. Um, so this is when uh, this is used most uh, commonly when you're trying to separate polar and nonpolar compounds. Um, this is used in organic chemistry lab. So what you do is you transfer the dissolved uh, compound from the starting solvent into a solvent which the compound is more soluble in. So um, the desired product that you want may be mixed in with other solvents. And in order to separate it, what we do is we um, use a solvent that the desired product is more soluble in, in order to extract it from that original solvent. So um, most likely the two solvents are immis immiscible because um, if you have a polar and nonpolar um, solvent, the two do not mix. And this forms two layers um, that are known as immiscible. So you can see that there is a divide between them. Um, they won't mix together. Um, and like I said before, in order to extract the solvent, uh, extract the desired compound, you use a solvent that the, the product is more soluble in. So if you are trying to, do, um, trying to extract a polar uh, substance, you will use a more polar solvent in order to transfer the polar substances uh, from the starting solvent into the new pol more polar solvent. And likewise, for non-polar substances, you will want to use a non-polar solvent in order to transfer the desired product into that more soluble non-polar solvent. So for polar solvents, um, we, most of the time water is used and um, that uh, polar solvent is called the aqueous phase. So aqueous sounds like um, aqua, which is water. So aqueous phase is the polar solvent. And for the organic phase, um, the nonpolar solvent is used. And the most common um, nonpolar solvent is ether. So make sure to distinguish that um, the two phases, aqueous phase and organic phase, um, those are the two solvents that are immiscible. Um, one is polar, the aqueous, is the polar uh, polar solvent, and then the organic phase is the nonpolar solvent. So these two will be in the in the uh, separatory funnel, and you will extract um, the desired product by uh, mixing the two. Um, so because uh, one is one solvent is nonpolar and one is polar, they can't uh, be mixed but you can temporarily mix them by shaking. So the solvent you pass it from one solvent to another. So even though you can shake it and mix it because um, of the difference in polarities, um, they won't permanently mix. So you can shake it, um, but after a while, if you let it settle, it'll separate again. It's like if you mix um, polar water and then a non-polar uh, substance like oil, if you put the two in the same um, container and shake it, you can mix it for a little bit, but after a while, it'll separate again. So we use this um, property in order to extract the desired product. Um, so like I said before, in order to extract the um, salt, uh, the desired product, we use um, the solvent that is more like the desired product in order to extract it. So if the product you're trying to extract is a nonpolar substance, you will uh, find the, the product in the organic layer, which is the nonpolar solvent. Uh, but if you're trying to extract a polar substance, then um, the non, uh, sorry, the polar solvent in the aqueous layer will contain your desired product. So by mixing, um, Mixing the two layers temporarily, the desired product will either, uh, if the product is a nonpolar um, non substance, well, by mixing it, you will transfer it from the aqueous layer into the organic layer. 
and um, the opposite will happen if you are trying to extract the uh, polar uh, product. So the organic layer um, that it really originally had the polar substance will transfer it to the aqueous layer after mixing. Um, so on the right, I have a picture of a separatory funnel. So this is the, um, the equipment used for extraction. Um, organic layer will be on top and the aqueous layer will be on the bottom. So you will put the, the two solvents um, through, through the top of the separatory funnel and the stopcock on the bottom will allow you to release the, um, the solvent. So if you're trying to extract the polar solvent, it will be in the bottom layer, the aqueous layer. And so you will keep that. But if you are um, looking for a nonpolar substance, um, you will discard the first um, aqueous layer and then you will keep the layer on top, which is the organic layer that has the nonpolar product. Um, like, so like I said before, the aqueous and the organic phases will separate on their own after some time. So after shaking, um, if you let it settle, uh, the two layers will separate. Um, so the separatory funnel isolates the two phases using gravity. The denser um, aqueous phase will be on the bottom and, and the lighter organic phase will be at the top. So you can repeat the extraction multiple times. So um, in order to get as much of the product as you can, so you can keep uh, adding either more organic um, phase or more aqueous phase, depending on which uh, product you are trying to extract. So if you're trying to extract more, um, if you're trying to extract a nonpolar product, then you will keep adding more organic solvent and extracting the organic phase. But if you are trying to um, extract a polar product, then you will keep adding more um, polar solvents and then keeping the aqueous phase. And after you're done extracting as much of the product as you can, you can evaporate the excess solvent using a rotary evaporator, also known as a rotovap, to obtain the product, product alone. So because you use the um, solvent to extract the uh, product, the solvent will be mixed in with the product that you extracted. So in order to get rid of the product, you will use a rotovap to evaporate the product. So you only have, uh, sorry, rotovap to evaporate the solvent. So you will only have the product at the end. And the picture on the right is just a um, depiction of that um, extraction method. Um, and then, so there's also a technique known as wash. So this is the reverse. Uh, it's kind of like the reverse of a extraction. So this is used to remove impurities. So um, what you do is you use a small amount of solvent um, to extract the product and remove the impurities. So that is the, uh, that's not the desired product. So basically you're washing um, your solution you're washing your solution in order to remove the impurities. 